नेक्स्ट वी स्टडी अबाउट हिलवर्ड स्पेसेस ए हिलवर्ड स्पेस इज नथिंग बट ए कंप्लीट इनर प्रोडक्ट स्पेस डेफिनेशन कंप्लीट इनर प्रोडक्ट स्पेस इज कॉल्ड ए हिलवर्ड स्पेस so if uh, let x be an inner product space when we say x is complete that means every cauchy sequence in x must be convergent so let x and b a sequence then we say that then xn is said to be cauchy if for every epsilon positive there exists a natural number n not such that norm xn minus xm is less than epsilon For every m n bigger than equal to n not. Here the norm is nothing but the induced norm. Induced norm. Induced by the inner product. Okay. So let us see a few examples. we know that every uh, finite dimension norm in space is complete so in particular when you take x to be a finite dimensional inner product space it must be a hilbert space is a hilbert space in particular we can take x to be r power n and the field is r we know how to define the inner product here x is x1 x2 so on xn and y is y1 y2 so on yn so inner product x with y is summation xj yj bar sorry yj similarly when you take x to be c power n and the field is c you take z as z1 z2 so on zn and w as w1 w2 so on wn coming from x so we know the inner product of z with w is defined as follows summation j equal to 1 to n z j w j bar another important example let us take x to be mnc set of all n by n matrices n by n complex matrices so for a b in x let us define a function like this as trace of a b star then we can show that this is an inner product on x and the induced norm is nothing but trace of a a star power of so this is the induced norm
इसे देना तो आप विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू दिस इनर प्रोडक्ट डेटा कॉल एन वन मैट से इज ए हिलवर्ड स्पेस लेट एस लुक एट फ्यू मोर एग्जाम्पल्स Let us take x to be L to of n. X is x n. Y is y n coming from x. We know that the inner product is defined as follows: summation j equal to one to infinity x j y j bar, and the English induced norm is nothing but generalization of the Euclidean norm. we can show that uh, this space is complete hence it is a hilbert space x is a hilbert space here if you look at c00 which is subset of x we can show that c00 is incomplete hence we can say that this is not a hilbert space so this is a hilbert is a in inner product space which is not a hilbert space on c00 we have the same inner product as l to n so with respect to that this is not a hilbert space okay let us look at one more example which is a generalization of all these examples in particular let us look at l to ab so if i take f1 g from l to ab we have defined inner product of f with g as integral a to b f g dot g bar d lambda lambda is the lebesgue measure and the induced norm is integral a to b mod f square d lambda power r we can show that this is also a complete inner product space hence it is a hilbert space this is a hilbert space we can also show that cab which is a subspace of l to ab is not a hilbert space here again we have to look at the same inner product as an uh, as in l to ab so we can still generalize this example 3 so let us look at x sigma mu b a major space that means x is an non empty set sigma is uh, the sigma algebra on subsets of x and mu is a measure on uh, sigma so we can define l to a l to of x sigma mu as in the earlier case this is set of all functions from x to c f is measurable and into log mod f square d mu is finite so if you take fg from l to x sigma mu so we can define the inner product as integral a to sorry integral over x f 
g bar d mu and the induced norm in this case is nothing but integral over x mod f square d mu so this is the induced norm this is the inner product So we can also show that this is a complete inner product space, hence this is also Hilbert space. This is a Hilbert space. Okay. So these are few examples of uh, Hilbert spaces. Thank you very much.